Okay, we've been doing a little bit more work on the gearbox uh, since before Christmas. Um, I got some parts from the advanced gearbox guys in Europe, I think they're known as pool trading. And basically we've got this uh, blanking plate uh, to replace the bell housing just because it will be a, we're not using a bell housing on this installation. So that blanks that off. We needed to grind the cover a little bit to make it fit, but it did fit. Um, they sent some gaskets over as well for the gearbox, but they were the wrong type. Uh, it was for the uh, 125 gearbox, but they were very good. They refunded uh, the cost of the gaskets straight away, and just I've just made some gaskets up using uh, 0.8 thick, uh, 0.8 of a millimeter thick paper because that's the width of the original ones. Um, done a few other little bits and bobs on the uh, oil cooler. Uh, I've polished up the end caps, it's kind of a bit pointless, but in a way they were painted blue and they kind of look nice shiny because, I don't know, they're kind of bronze I guess. And then the inlet pipes, uh, they were originally curves and I've cut them off and re-welded them so that they're straight because that's going to suit our installation a bit better. The welding's not particularly amazing but the MIG welder wasn't running quite right and I'm not a particularly great welder but I do enjoy it. Um, so yeah, and then we flip this one round so it's pointing that way. So the seacock's kind of down there somewhere. It'll go in there through the cooler and then out the other side to the pump. Um, we've got a pressure gauge to add on to tell us what the gearbox pressure is. Now one thing I've found is that the... I've got a couple of these bolts to hold the gauge and the uh, hydraulic line in but it won't actually quite fit. This is the first thing I've found on this gearbox that doesn't seem like it was quite thought out, so that won't actually fit in there unless you take the whole oil cooler off and move it out of the way. So I've got a spare bolt and what I did was basically, I don't know if you can see, I just used a grinder and just ground a couple of millimeters off the top of it. So if I use this one what I'll be able to do is just get it in there and then that fits. And so if I do need to get it out at any time, I won't need to unbolt all this and do that. So we'll put those bits together and then we'll have a look at those ceiling rings. <laughs> 